to be honest, I never used RSS reader in my life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to use Node-RED to issue RSS notification directly to your phone so you don't need any RSS application on your phone anymore. Uh, and uh, this ties neatly to my tutorial about connectivity, so if you don't know how Node-RED works, there is a nice tutorial for wrote uh, recently about connectivity, so how to transfer the information into the Node-RED and out of the Node-RED. And in this tutorial we're going to use join node uh, in particular, and the feed parse node to grab the information from websites like, I don't know, XDA developers or Android police and send it over to your mobile device uh, with the join node. So, let's get started. Right, to start with this setup, we need to install the node node-red node feed parser, which is going to check uh, a feed from URL every X minutes, and by default they're going to set it to five minutes. So that's the first node we need. Obviously, I'm going to assume yeah, you have a join node already. If you don't, you just type join and you can uh, download the uh, node red to contrib join um, uh, node. And lastly, uh, we're going to need also big timer. Uh, so this is node red contrib big timer. So those three nodes are going to be needed for this setup. So let's uh, open a new flow and so RSS flow. And we're going to start with the uh, feed parser. And for example, I just uh, typed in the XDA developers feed. So we have to do is just to go to xdadevelopers.com and then forward slash feed. Uh, we're checking every five minutes and uh, you can name it wherever you want. Now, so that's your feed parser. Uh, the object message we're going to receive, uh, we're going to uh, later transform information from this to extract the description and the title of the actual article and the date. So I know I'm going to send the custom properties for the join push, so I can set the title, etc. So uh, in this, uh, using a change node, I'm going to set the message title, and that's XDA developers, because this uh, feed comes from XDA developers. It's going to be easier this way than actually browsing through the entire feed uh, from the uh, feed parser. And also I'm going to set the icon for the um, XDA as, as well. It's a good idea to actually go and store this icon somewhere locally for you, accessible on the server, rather than pull it from Google, because if the address changes, then obviously you have to update this. So we have this bit done. Now, there will be a bit of a code, uh, thanks to um, Zhao for supplying uh, the code for me. And uh, we're going to have some error handling, so if uh, things are inset, we're just going to bounce at the error instead. And then the code, what it does basically, it uh, looks for the information uh, and uh, within that feed and looks for the title in that message and the objects and um, looks basically for what is the title and what is the description at the date uh, that has been posted, formats everything and returns it as a push message to the um, join push node. So that's done. And obviously, lastly, it's the join push node. Uh, all I have to specify uh, is the device name. You can specify the device name in the push uh, object in here as well. So if you go in here and type in your devices, you can do it that way as well. But I think it's just easier to specify the device in here and select your config and then just apply. And that would work. But a few improvements that we're going to do. First of all, if you want the other sources, all you have to do is just uh, same as you did before. Open feed parser. Uh, create new URL for different websites is Android police feed and we have Zhao's uh, website as well. You can basically use a feed from different website that's going to work just fine. And uh, all you have to do really is just to add custom properties. So custom title and custom icon and uh, on, all it takes really is just a feed to the same source of the uh, code because uh, the information from these is standardized, so every feed for RSS uh, contains the same object and can be used with the same code to process the information, send it further. 
Now, if you're going to use it as it is right now, you're going to receive all the information from these three websites and more. And that's going to happen over 24 hours. Uh, bear in mind, a lot of these people are updating over the night and nighttime, etc. So there are different time zones. And this is not something you want to have on 24 7. Now, the easiest way would have been to disable it. But obviously, if you disable the flow, you're going to miss the information because there is no way in this flow to store that RSS information. However, there's a very easy way to control all this. So what I came up instead is I came up with a quiet times where I am just going to lower the push, uh, the joint push priority. So it wouldn't give you any messages and all bunch them together. So you won't get a notification for the uh, offline hours or like nighttime hours. I'm going to use a big timer and what you have to do is specify your location then specify from what time till what time you want the notifications to receive um, high priority and outside of those those hours the priority is going to be low so to do that we need to configure a little bit more so what i have to do is just uh, add on message which is uh, one and off message which is zero now bear in mind those are not integers uh, it's going to be deployed as a string and a payload and this is important because what we're going to do next so that information is going to be basically updated every minute and it's going to go to the um, set node and the set node is going to set payload so that's zero or one uh, to a flow instead of a, any not message it's going to do it to a flow now what that does basically is that this flow.rss it's going to be either one or zero now in here I've got another two nodes. I'm not going to connect this just yet. I'm going to show you how it works. First of all, this is my flow.rs. This is the property of this switch node. This switch node, I've added extra output. So I have one output for one and one output for zero. Bear in mind to use a string, not the integer, otherwise it won't work. So if a flow property is EE1, it's gonna go to outcome one. If the flow property is zero, it's gonna go to outcome two. So if I now we're gonna substitute this in here. So I need to break this connection. If it's one, then I don't wanna change the priority and I wanna use the default priority and the default priority is the highest one. This is the priority when you're gonna receive the notification and overlay over your screen. But if the uh, the priority is zero, I want to lower the priority. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a custom property for the join node, and this is message dot priority, and the lowest you can get is minus two. Minus two won't give you any uh, notification, and it will collapse uh, the notification into small um into a small one line notification instead and then android will bunch it together so it's quite decent so i'm using minus two and i'm going to connect it to a join so basically if it's within the time limit uh, uh, when the notification should be received the flow goes from this one through this one through this one through this one and straight to join if it's outside of the working hours then it goes from this one to this one to this one uh, to this one then it lowers the priority and then hitting the push and that's basically the working principle of this as you can see there's probably a million and one different setups that you can use with Node-RED and RSS notification is just one of them and obviously feel free to increment on it and change your rules uh, swap the different websites and uh, do whatever you want with it it's just a sample on how to implement the knowledge from the connectivity tutorial into uh, some sort of project that you can use uh, to wow your friends and uh, you know it's quite awesome that you can show them like oh i've made this and uh, they'll think it's an app or something but you know you've pretty much made it from scratch yourself so thanks so much for watching guys, uh, obviously if you want a written tutorial and you want to check how everything is done in uh, particular and uh, you're interested in the code itself to download, it's all in the description of this video. If you're interested in more content like this, uh, obviously just subscribe or follow me on social media to get notific notifications and well, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!